Hey everybody, welcome to your whole body HIIT workout and yoga sequence. So all you need for the workout today is your water, your favorite playlist, and if you would like, you can have a set of weights. We are gonna have one exercise that weights can be useful for. Otherwise, we are gonna just jump right in. All right, we're gonna start with warm up. So stand up tall, feet parallel, shoulders up, down, and back. Up, down, and back a few times. Start connecting with your breath here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We're gonna move side to side a few times. Still connecting with that breath. Your mantra for today's workout is, I am strong and connected. All right, here we go. Getting into our active warm up here. Come out into a wide roughly position, toes out, heels in. We're gonna bend and lift, bend and lift. Every time you drop, feel yourself squat deeply. And every time you lift, press through the heels. Find the flow of your breath here. Maybe inhale on the lift and exhale on the drop. You got it. Feel your whole body extend and reach. Feel the legs warm up here. We are attacking the whole body today. So every inch of you is gonna get worked. So really make sure you're connecting head to toe here in this warm up. You got it for 10 more seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Coming back into parallel, coming into a squat position, tucking the navel to the spine right here. We are gonna step out with the right foot and back in. Out and in, just working the right side here. Every time you step, you shift your weight over into that right foot. Step, step and press. Step and press, three more this side, three, two, one, switch it over. Right over to the left side, you got it. I'm stepping my left foot out now. Still connecting with my breath. Feel the legs light up here. Three more, three, two, one, bring it back to center, lift up tall. Now, we're just gonna start marching our legs, lifting right and left. Your hands can stay by your side, or they can come overhead. But find yourself here, pointing the toe as you lift. Connect with that breath. Exhale on the lift. We're gonna add a side crunch here, so meet me at hands overhead if you haven't already. Crunching to the side, when the right knee lifts, in three, two, one. Here we go, side to side. If this is too much for you, keep those hands overhead, take out the twist, and just keep marching. Lifting and squeezing in the standing leg. You got it. Keep the breath flowing. We only have one more warm up workout after this. Two more each side, last one, and center. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. The last form of exercise, we come into a lateral lunge, back up, to a low lunge, back up. Lateral lunge to one side, lift up, twist the body, low lunge. Only a couple more here. Last one this side, low lunge. Lift up, we come right into the other side. Lift and drop. Great work. A few more. Last one. And lift back up. So great, your warm up is complete. So I'm gonna start describing to you the first round of exercises we have. Take a sip of water, take any stretches or movements you would like at this time. We will get into it in just a moment. So the first round of exercises is gonna be 30 seconds of effort, 30 seconds of rest. We're doing two sets. And the first one is a lateral lunge, which we just went into with a hop at the top. You squat down, as you come up, you pop. 
All right. The second exercise will be an ab exercise on your back. You bring your knees into tabletop. Shoulders are lifted off the mat the whole time. Hands extend wide. You reach one leg out, clap your hands behind the bent knee. Switch and clap. Every time you clap, your chest pulls in to your knees. It is a great workout for the rectus abdominis. Then we will end with burpees. Burpees in slow motion, functionally, look like a walk out, a walk up, and a pop at the top. We take that faster by dropping down, popping up. You need to listen to your body here, what is gonna make you feel strong and connected. Take it slow or take it fast, no matter what you do. Make sure your body is paying attention to the breath and you are in your proper alignment. All right, we are gonna get started with 30 seconds on the first round, lateral lunge with a hop, starting in just about eight seconds. Go ahead, turn your music on if you don't already have it. Roll those shoulders up, back and down one more time, starting in three, two, one. Down, pop up. If that hop is too much, then you can just step. Your foot does not have to fully leave the ground. It's just added intensity. Two more on this side, last one on this side, and switch. Pop it up, pop it up. Feel your navel pull into your spine here. Keep the breath flowing. Can you drop lower? Last four, last three, two, and one. Rest for 30 seconds. When you're in your recovery mode, drive the breath down to the feet, making your breath return to its natural effortless pace as quickly as possible. All right, when you are settled in your breath, come back to the mat, setting up for our clap crunches. 10 seconds here. Come to a 90 degree angle, shoulders lifted off the ground. We extend one leg, clap behind the other. In three, two, one. Sharply exhale as you reach the chest to the knee. Your shoulders stay lifted the entire time. You got it. Only 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. Driving the breath down, relaxing the muscles that just got worked. Heading into burpees. Remember, if burpees are new to you, if you have any sensitivity in your knees, in your wrists or shoulders, maybe you take it a bit slower at first, and then you meet us at pace if and when that feels right. All right, here we go. Starting up with 30 seconds of burpees in just about five seconds. Four, three, two, here we go. Down and pop up. Every time you pop up, explode out of the balls of your feet. Reach to the sky. Catch yourself on the way down, letting your arms bend as you reach the ground. Keep the breath flowing. Inhale on your way up. Exhale on your way down. You got this for four seconds. Last one. And rest. So good, everybody. We have one more round of all three of those exercises. If you need to grab a sip of water, do so. Drive the breath down no matter where you are. Find the breath, grab onto it, and use your mantra. I am strong and connected. When you believe that, when you embrace that as your truth, this whole process 
of exercise and becoming stronger and fitter and working through your personal challenges, it's not just possible. You feel great when you do it. You feel like you're in charge. You feel like you are gaining and growing. Here we go. We're getting back into our lateral lunge with the hop in five seconds. Four, three, two, here we go. Down, pop up. Can you draw lower? When you drop, feel your navel pull into your spine. Your chest is lifted the entire time. Two more on this side. Last one, switch it over. Pop up and pop. Lift on the ball of your foot on that pop. Two, last one, rest. Remember, we're dropping to the ground, but before we drop to the ground, let the breath recover a bit first. When you feel ready, meet me on the ground with our clapping lunges up next, clapping crunches up next. Here we go. Knees at a 90 degree angle. Lift your chest. Imagine you had a corset on, pulling your ribs in tighter, lifting even higher, starting for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Keep those toes pointed. Can you crunch higher? Can you lift even more? Keeping the shoulders relaxed, using the lift of your knee, the lift of your chest. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. And rest. So good. Take your 30 seconds here. Feel the breath come down. Rise when you're ready. We're hitting our second set of burpees. Focusing on the form and then moving to pace. We're taking longer breaks in this first workout to just get us comfortable with this style of. All right, coming into our next round of burpees. Remember, focusing on the form before the pace. Starting in just about five seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. Pop up and press down. Connect with your breath. Pop up. You got it. 10 seconds left. Great job. Last one. And rest. Amazing work, everybody. You now have two minutes of rest before we start our next set. You can either take this time to fully recover if you need it. If you want to keep moving, jog in place. As I explained to you, the next set of exercises, okay? First, we have a curtsy lunge. We cross the body on the way down. We lift and you have an optional hop. All right, it's a balance challenge with that hop. So take it as your body feels comfortable doing so. 15 seconds each side. Then we come into hip thrusters with weights as an option. If you have weights, you can either place them on the hip or overhead, and we focus on thrusting the hips upward. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, okay? If you're feeling like you want an extra challenge, you'll work one leg at a time for 15 seconds each. All right, third exercise, focusing on the abs. We come from a downward dog position into a plank position. Inhale and exhale, all right? On the inhale, you feel yourself peak in your work, in the contraction, and you come into a plank position where your whole body is lit up Every muscle is working. The plank is not a point of relaxation. You want to stay 
in the movement, in the core, the entire time as you're moving throughout the exercises. Each one of these individual exercises will be done for 30 seconds at a time with 30 seconds rest. All right, we are starting in just about 20 seconds. So get the water if you need it, turn up your music, and get ready for the second set. Standing up, get ready for the curtsy lunge, feet in parallel, maybe a little bit wider than hip distance, starting in three, two, one. Cross it over, optional lift. I use my arms quite a bit to help me through this exercise. It helps me on that lift. You got this, two more on this side. Last one, and switch it over. This is a deep lunge. That back foot, you land on the ball of your foot. You got it. Last two and one. Rest. Drive the breath down. When the breath feels like it has recovered, then you sit down for your hip thruster. Grabbing the weight if you want it. Coming onto your back. You make a choice right here. Will you use weight? Will you keep both feet planted? Or will you work one foot at a time? Here we go. Three, two, one. Lift and lower. As you lift, pull the navel into the spine. Squeeze through the hamstrings and the glutes. Root down through the heels. Feel the burn as you lift. If you're ready to challenge yourself, lift one foot up. If you already lifted, switch now. You got it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Connecting with your breath one more time. Remind yourself of that mantra. I am strong and connected. Finding yourself in downward dog position, getting ready for our down dog to add sequence. Connect with your breath, tuck the toes under when you're ready. Once you're in down dog, you can take a few moments before our 30 seconds begins to pedal out your feet. Starting our work in three, two, one. Here we go. Exhale to plank, inhale down dog. As soon as you hit your plank, you lift back into down dog, keeping the core contraction the entire time. Don't let yourself relax here. You're not only working the abdominal muscles, you're also strengthening the arms, the shoulders, so keep it going. For four seconds, two, last one, and rest. All right, it's 30 seconds. We start over with our curtsy lunge. Take advantage of this longer rest period, 30 seconds. It should feel like plenty of time for that breath to fully drop back down to its effortless pace, okay? Here we go. Roll those shoulders up, back and down one time. Feet slightly wider than the hips, getting ready for our curtsy lunge to one side. In three, two, one. Drop it down, pop up. As you get stronger over the course of this challenge, as you do this work, you might find yourself going from feeling unstable on one leg to being able to do some of these lifts. So watch yourself progress in coming days. Last one, switch. You got it. Connect with your breath. Feel your body working here. Two and one. Rest. When the breath feels like it's had a chance to recover, then you come down. Set up your hip thrusters. What did you do last time and how could you improve this time? Maybe you try one side for 15 seconds each lifted. Maybe you add weight. Or maybe you connect with your breath even deeper this time. All right, connect with your choice. 
Starting in three, two, one, here we go. Using the breath for every lift and every lower. Only five seconds left if you have one leg lifted. Switch now if you have one leg lifted. Seven seconds. Keep pushing, keep breathing, and one, rest. Great job, everybody. And our last set, down onto plank. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Plant the wrists down, shoulders over wrist. If you have any wrist sensitivity, Always feel welcome to put a blanket or double up your mat if you're using one. Tuck the toes under, press into down dog. Starting our work in three, two, one. Plank to down dog. Work that breath, exhaling on the plank, inhaling on the lift. Feel your thighs tighten and zip up when you come into plank. Feel your shoulders work as you lift into down dog for five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Great job, everybody. That is the end of the HIT series for this day one workout. So take a minute, recover, grab water, we're going to be going into our yoga sequence in just a moment. All right, we are ready to begin our first yoga sequence. So find yourself in an easy posture. You can sit with your legs crossed, legs extended long. You can even sit on a uh, blanket or pillow to create some lift in the low body if it's necessary for you. Turn your palms up towards the ceiling. You can close your eyes or just bring your gaze down and slightly in front of you. As you turn inward, start to connect with your breath here without changing it in any way just yet. Start to notice the rise and fall of your inhale and exhale. Taking a few breaths to just settle in and arrive here in the present moment. We're going to inhale fully through the nostrils and exhale sharply through the mouth. <sighs> inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Last time. And release. <sighs> On your next inhale, bring the hands overhead. Take one hand and gently clasp the opposite wrist. Inhale, lift. On your next exhale, Gently turn over to one side, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, feeling an opening across the side body. Inhale, exhale, and on your next inhale, lift back to center, switch out the position of your hands, and on your next exhale, gently pull on that wrist as you tilt over to the opposite side, pulling the navel in towards the spine, and connecting with the breath. Inhale, exhale, and on your next inhale, come back to center. Release the hands down to your side. We're moving into a quadruped position. In other words, tabletop or hands and knees. Arrive by spreading fingers wide and pressing them each into the mat or carpet. Shoulder is over the wrists. Knees are about hip distance apart and the tops of your feet are pressing into the ground. We're going to inhale and draw our belly as we gently look up. And exhale, tuck your chin, round the spine, and pull the navel in. Inhale, drop the belly, and gently tilt up. Exhale, tuck the chin and round. A few more times, inhaling, and tucking the chin, rounding as you exhale. 
Two more at your own pace. Last one. And exhale. Come back to a neutral spine. Inhale, the right leg long, pointing the toe, making a few circles out to the side, coming out and around. One more, and then arriving back in center. Exhale, lift the leg. On your next exhale, bring that knee in between your two hands, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, lift. Taking the hands onto the thigh, finding yourself in a low lunge, pressing into your thigh, feeling a stretch across the psoas muscle. That's the front hip muscle. Lifting the chest, connecting with the breath here. A few more breaths in and out. Again, you can close the eyes. You wanna feel the deep stretch in the left hip here. Taking the hands back down to the mat. Exhaling, pressing back into a half split, just straightening that leg that was bent. And if you're very tight in your hamstrings, just put a slight micro bend in that knee. Holding here, flexing that foot deeply. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna flow between those two. So on our inhale, we push forward into our low lunge. And on our exhale, we press back into a half split. Inhale, and exhale. Two more times. Inhale, and exhale. Last one. Press it back. Good. Now coming back to our low lunge, tucking the toes of the opposite leg, pressing the right foot back, stretching, Finding any movement you need before your knees come back onto the mat. We're coming straight into the other side. Pressing those hands back down. Inhale, lift the opposite leg. Create some movement there. Wide circles out and around. One more time in, arriving back in center. Exhale, that other leg long. Then bring it in between the two hands. Inhale, lift. Press along the thigh with the palms of the hands. Lift through the chest, pull the navel in. Feeling a deep stretch along the psoas muscle, the front hip here. Making sure that the hips are facing directly in front of you, parallel. So pull that left hip, the hip of the bent knee slightly back. And the hip that's of the extended leg presses slightly forward. Close those eyes down, connect with the breath. One more breath in and out. On your next inhale, taking the hands back to the mat. Exhale, pressing back into his low split. Inhale, coming back to your lunge, moving through that flow. Exhale, press back. Inhale, press forward. Back and forward. Three more times. Last one. Press it back. Come forward. And then gently release that foot, extending it long, taking any movement you need. Coming back onto our booty. We're gonna stretch the side body and shoulders here with our side body stretch. Take your hands to your legs to a wide V position. Bringing one heel into the inner thigh. Lifting through your body, pulling the navel to the spine. Inhale, turn the torso over the long leg. Exhale, just extend forward without rounding. Extend forward over the leg. Putting a bend in the knee if that long leg is very tight, reaching for your shin, ankle, or toes. Lift through the chest. 
Now you can tuck your chin and round the back, feeling your torso drape over the thigh. Holding here for one more breath cycle. On our next exhale, walk your hands up your leg. Come back to center. Inhale tall again. This time, one arm extends down over the leg. Maybe it reaches to the ground or maybe it rests on the leg. Creating a side body stretch here as this arm just extends overhead. Keeping that foot flexed, feeling a deep stretch across the ribs, across the shoulder and the armpit. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lengthen and reach. Exhale, dive deeper. All right, inhale, press back up to center. And we'll move to the other side, bringing the opposite foot into the inner thigh. Inhale, lift up, turn the torso over the long leg, keeping the chest tall and open. Reaching for the, fish, for the shin, ankle, or toes. Connecting with your breath as you feel a stretch across the hamstring and an opening across the upper back. Now you can tuck your chin, round over, draping your torso onto the leg. Connect with your breath. And then gently exhale, press up. Inhale, taking one arm to the leg or to the ground, reaching over the side body, stretching, stretching and lengthening, releasing all the built up tension in your body, helping alleviate any muscle soreness from the workout you just did, from other workouts you might do. Continue to breathe and relax. Inhale, lengthen and reach. Exhale, dive deeper into the posture. Inhale, lengthen, reach and dive deeper. Inhale, come up, bring both feet in together. Exhale, press the hands down. Tent the fingertips and let them rest on either side of your body. Just gonna move the neck across the front side of the body with the inhale and exhale. So inhale, drop, exhale, relax. On your next inhale, move the chin across the chest. Exhale, move the chin back to the other side. Inhale. And exhale. Two times, moving all the way around in a complete circle, moving steadily and gently. Now switch directions for our last two. And arrive back in center. Palms can return 